Hello everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back for another episode of Terraria. Oh, okay. It's an oddly colored demon eye. Alright, so, I just spent a bit of time off camera building up our main base, home, village, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I won't be showing it off just yet, because it's not really finished. And all, but... I figured I would do a bit of work on that off-camera, just so that I would actually have something to do uh, while not recording, since I've been rather excited to play, and I kind of don't want to end up with uh, too much of a backlog of just videos that are waiting to go live, since, uh, as I think I've sort of touched on before, I, I just don't like the idea, I guess, of having too many videos that are just sitting there. Um, and then, you know, just have a bunch of stuff that's already recorded, and I can't really react to any, like, viewer comments or suggestions or anything like that for a while. Also, uh, we're just collecting a couple of books and shelves here for eventual, uh, furnishings and so forth, since we do want our home to look somewhat cultured. Hello there, Cursed Skull. Um, hello. Come on. Also, I think I spotted a new enemy uh, right before I started recording, something called a Blazing Wheel? I don't recall seeing anything like that in the dungeon before, so I'm assuming it's new. Also, while wandering around to get more marble, uh, there's actually another enemy in the marble biome. It seems there is the Hoplite, which is kind of like a skeleton that's armored in sort of Greek-style armor and throws spears at you. In addition to the Medusa, neither of which I think have appeared on camera yet. Also, I sort of continued on digging down here, just to make sure we have something new when I came back. But I haven't really gone too far ahead, since, again, I don't want to do too much off-camera, just in case something interesting happens. I'm actually kind of baffled that we haven't seen a Blood Moon yet, because I think in my off-camera building, I went through two or three, maybe more, just in-game days? Wait a minute. Oh, that was just a word. It wasn't moving, so I thought maybe it was the pressure plate or something. And there's our 50th cave bat. So there we are. We have a banner. Awesome. We're also randomly going to want to use that teleportation potion just to see if anything cool happens as a result. Also, are these salamanders new enemies, or have they always been here? I cannot for the life of me remember. What is this? It is iron. As it turns out, we may want more iron after all, because I don't have nearly as many... I Not so much for weapons, but maybe if we want iron bricks or whatever iron-related materials. I thought tin was used to make some cosmetic-type furniture, but I was apparently wrong. Like buckets, for instance. They require iron. Or lead. But since we have iron in this world, it's iron we're using. Picking up some amethysts, it would seem. And, uh, anyway, that's more or less that. Also, there's some silver down there. And as you can see, we're s sort of approaching the, uh, what is this? A green mushroom. Useful for making green dyes, I believe. Anyway, but yeah, now that we're approaching the lava, we're going to have to be a bit more careful about where we fall and place ourselves. Ooh, a purple salamander. <laughs> So, as far as I can... Ow. Oh, a compass. Nice. Now, the compass and the depth meter, I'm pretty sure those combine into one item eventually. Also, it occurs to me, we might want to pick up more of these in the dungeon, because... I don't know, they seem thematically appropriate for the channel. You know, gaming by gaslight, those are kind of like gaslight lanterns right there. So we may want more. I'm pretty sure these drips don't cause damage, hopefully. Let's stand under one and see anything. Oh, there, here comes a lava drip now. I'm assuming these are just cosmetic, but better to learn that now than in a high stress environment where if they did do damage, oh, it could be quite bad for us. Oh god. Now, listen, all right, careful, careful. Oh, there we are. We're almost in, what is this? Silt. We do want all the silt. 
we can possibly muster, since it will be useful later on. Well, this is probably a bad idea. Yep. We definitely don't want to fall in the lava. Okay. So I'll dig through all this and I'll cut away when we get to the next chamber. Or, I will cut away now and cut back in when we get to the next chamber, that is. Or maybe not, there's a chamber right here. Anyway, so... Also, it, it's looking, in my opinion, increasingly unlikely we'll be fighting the Wall of Flesh. I mean, we're only a couple minutes into the episode and it's probably a bit early to be making calls on whether we will, whether we'll be fighting certain bosses or not. But we might want to slow things down, because I'm in no rush to trigger hard mode. Since it always, for me at least, inevitably leads to the destruction of my first world. And, you know, coming in with a, already, a character who's already hardened and having seen hard mode, it's easier to protect the world then, since you have the resources to contain the spread of crimson or corruption in the uh, hallow. But the first time around, such as what we're facing right now, yeah. Of course, I'm also thinking we're probably going to want to make another world just to try out expert mode, since there's a number of differences there, including the fact that apparently all the bosses and some of the regular enemies have different AI, and, and by different, I'm presuming more advanced and tricky, but also more rewarding. Finally, another. Been a while since we've seen a life crystal. Let's just eat that. Oh, <laughs> got killed by that last time. I don't think I am quite so eager. Oh god, no, 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 no. There we go. Okay, now how do we want to do this? Those are some... <sighs> We're probably gonna die again. Nope, we survived! Oh, and there go all the blocks. So, that was kind of a bad idea. But at least we didn't die. We were just outside of the blast radius, apparently. And at the end of the day, that's all I care about. We didn't die. Alright, so... If we're not going to fight the Wall of Flesh right away, what are we going to do? I think the plan is we're just going to get to the Underworld. We'll probably try to grab a Voodoo Doll so we can fight the Wall of Flesh whenever we happen to be ready. Um, but we'll probably go back, we'll try to find the, uh... Uh, what am, what am I trying to say? We'll try to find, I guess, the, uh, Honey Bee's Nest thing, mini biome, whatever you want to call it and we'll go see if we can fight the Queen Bee. That's always a relatively easy fight. Also, let's take a quick look at the map here. Yeah, I really don't follow the whole elevator concept. I just kind of dig through the path of least resistance. Though I do wonder if it would be faster if I just built big elevator shafts going straight down. What was that? You guys did see that, right? Or some kind of like weird... Ooh. Oh god! Thank goodness we built that minecart, eh? Of course it occurs to me, I could harvest this track if I wanted. Um, here. Get... Oh, I forget how to get off this thing. No, that's one way. Alright, some more health. Because more health is better than less. You know, I really do kind of want to just harvest this track here, because I eventually want to build a track that runs between the dungeon entrance and our base, so that we have a high-speed uh, method of traveling back and forth. Of course, that'll... that sort of... it's Mine tracks t are a lot of effort, and they sort of... You out level them basically, I guess is the term to use, pretty quickly. 
since you, you know, you start getting wings as soon as you get into hard mode, and then you eventually get access to teleporters and stuff like that. But, I don't know, there, there's something about having a mine cart. Or a mine track. Oh, the traveling merchant. How far do we really want to... Okay, come on. No, our money! Oh wait, it wasn't destroyed. Yeah! There we are. Okay. Yeah, I want to harvest this mine track. I mean, one iron bar makes 50 lengths of track, but as you can see, we've already got 50 it's a track right here, and we didn't really get very far, did it? Oh god, no! No! No. No, sir. You know, I, I actually just want to get out of here, is what I really want to do. More than anything else, so let's just mine through the silt and get the hell out of here. We'll figure out what we're trying- I think that's more marble, actually. Is it? Maybe. It might be more marble. Or I could just be imagining things. Wouldn't be the first time. But oh yeah, also what I was saying earlier. I find it odd that we haven't had a blood moon yet. I don't I don't think they changed how those spawn. I, I don't think they have anyway. But yeah, I haven't seen one since I've started on this character. Which I find kind of odd myself. Yeah, maybe Maybe they did change it, maybe I've just been really unlucky, but uh, uh, pre-1.3, I found that the Blood Moon was a fairly regular occurrence, and we haven't seen it at all during this Let's Play, which kinda has me wondering a bit. Even if we don't fi fight the Wall of Flesh this uh, uh, even if we don't fight the Wall of Flesh this episode, I figure we'll at least reach the underworld and hopefully start getting some of the materials we might be able to make use of in order to... Actually, what tier of pickaxe do I need to actually mine the uh, hellstone uh, bricks? It is hellstone, right? The ore? Uh, I completely forget the names of pretty much everything. No, I wonder, if we just put a torch in here, could we make this into a home? Probably not, but maybe there's enough wall placed in there? I don't know. You know what? We might as well also move the depth of meter over here until we desperately need more space. We don't have a desperate need for space right now. We might eventually, but for the moment. There is another statue that we could always take with us. Oh! Here's a switch. Wait. No, it's just a sapphire embedded in the wall. How very odd. So we have a loom. We have this golden chandelier. I don't understand why these chandeliers never seem to be off. They never seem to work when we come in. I mean, there's not a switch option, no. Can't right-click them. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff going on there. Uh, we want that to be behind. And we'll take the chest for it with us. Do that. And we're actually already almost full. Hmm. Now I'll just drink the water walking potion. Why not, right? Clear out all the cobwebs, and continue our descent into the depths. No, no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ugh. Wait. Oh, I didn't... I can't believe I never realized that. I didn't realize that the water walking potion lets you walk on lava as well. That's useful to know. Well, quite honestly. Oh, oh shit. 
That's much less good. Okay, let's uh, get back up there. Uh, we'll block the torch here. And might as well put one here. And there's gold there, I see it. We'll come back for the gold later, I don't think we need it right now. Also, I think that's a piece of obsidian? It also looks like there's some kind of pressure plate under it. Yep. Oh god! I should have known. No! Okay, and we're back. So, with that taken care of, we can resume our downward march into the depths. Oh, easy now. Of course, we're probably going to want to wrap this episode... What in the devil was that? Granted. What was that, a gargoyle or something? Alright, I guess we have to... Put these here. I don't have much space left. I don't know what's so special about granite. Wait a tick. Granite. There's not some kind of fancy, uh granite biome as well as marble, is there? Hmm. Okay. Well, it's gonna be an interesting journey down to, uh, get... Leave me alone. Ah! Oh god. Okay, so we're back. Uh, it took me a couple of tries to really make some progress down here, since all this lava is rather dangerous. Right, let's have a quick look. I am determined that we will reach, we are going to bust our way into hell this episode, I promise. So, yes. I'll probably cut away until we actually run into something interesting with a lot of this, since I'm mostly right now just me navigating these lava pools and everything, and I don't think that makes for the most interesting viewing, so I will see you guys when we bust into hell. Alright, and we're back everyone, so this is it. We are just about to penetrate the wall, the gates of hell. As you can see, the demons are already out in full force waiting for us. This, this is it. This is the big one. I'm not really sure what we're going to do once we get here. I think the idea is mostly just that I'm... Oh. Okay, so we we have, according to the game, since we just got the achievement for it... Oh, music's changing. We are, in fact, in hell, everyone. Oh, boy. Or the underworld, since it's, you know, to keep things rated PG. It's obviously... Or, yeah... Yeah, I guess PG is the appropriate rating for something like this. Now, I don't think there's anything particularly good to use ashes with, so I don't know if we're going to worry about it too much. Also, they changed the music for the Underworld. It's different. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what I mean by that. It's certainly not worse. It's actually not bad. Very atmospheric. Yeah. Alright, there's our first fire imp kill. Oh. oh, no, 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 sir. Alright, so all the hell bats are going to be coming in. Now, uh, something I really hate about the underworld is just the fact that since it is essentially a massive cavern, that does mean that we're going to end up dealing with all kinds of enemies. And I hate dealing with all kinds of enemies. Oh god. We also have shit like that? No! Like that. And we died. Ah, so we've lost over 12 gold to this whole venture. But we did gain more health. And, I mean, how much money do we have? Yeah, we have, we have some money. Oh, man. That that was quite, quite a loss. Quite heartbreaking. 
But we made it to the underworld. Uh, we can start prepping the area down there and exploring and all that. I'm going to want to go do some inventory management back at the base since we've pretty much filled up everything already. And, uh, yeah, I guess that this is where we're going to leave this episode. When we come back, we're, we're actually probably not going to come back to the underworld for a little bit. I just want to bust in there just to say we did. I think next episode we're going to go back to the jungle and start looking for uh, the lizard temple just so we know where that is. Uh, we'll try finding the honeybee hive so we can go fight the bee queen. Queen bee, however you want to call her. And... Yeah, I think that's about it. That's sort of all the other extracurricular activities we'll want to do before enabling hard mode. I mean, I guess we could probably afford to go back and spend a bit more time in the dungeon just to see what else there might be to find, but... Eh, I don't know. There's all kinds of things we could be doing, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, but... Uh, rather than let this episode continue just going on with one of my, at this point, has to be trademark kind of end of episode rants about nothing in particular, uh, I'll just leave it here. So thank you all for watching, as always, of course. I uh, hope you guys had a good time. I certainly did. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot. And I will see you guys next time.